Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai by Shem Rakadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Aquas that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. Coming at you with another lesson in truth. And I got a couple clips I want to play from two different videos of basically of uh, Psalm 64 and, and uh, 8. Matter of fact, let's grab that first. Uh, Psalms 64 and 8 and it reads so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves and all that see them shall flee away so what you're about to witness or hear are well at least one either might because I think that the guy in the second video is actually Jake um, but nevertheless um, you're about to hear uh, the Esau Edom, who is the so-called white man, tell on himself, and he basically he's going to say what the prophets of the Lord, starting with the uh, the apostles and the elders on down to uh, to to the to the fellow laborers, us, what we've been saying all along, and now this is a, a congressman standing before Congress saying the same thing. All right, so uh, let's uh, cue up this video. And it's only about two minutes long, and then we're going to go right into the scriptures after that. But um, he says a lot in, in, in uh, two minutes about the fraud, you know, that uh, the, which is perpetrated by the American banking systems, which the banking systems uh, connected to the Fed, and the Fed is like literally a fourth branch of government, all right? And we know which people, or what portion of humanity controls the banks but the moment you call them out on it and point out the, these facts you call the anti-sim you know and that which is their number one defense every time they're exposed for some for, for, for any wrongdoing they scream bloody murder bloody or anti-sim as if that and, and and as if that's going to uh to cover or makes them uh uh you know, exempt from all the wrongs that are being done. But but here we go. Central banks do it all the time. Central banks repress the amount of interest that rate that rates are, so we don't have the real cost of money. And yet we blame the real retail banks for manipulating LIBOR. The sheer effrontery of this is quite astonishing. It's central banks. It's central banks that manipulate interest rates, Commissioner. And plus, underneath all this, we talk loosely, in a rather cavalier fashion, do we not, about deposit guarantees. So when banks go broke through their own incompetence and chicanery, the taxpayer picks up the tab. It's theft from the taxpayer. And until we start sending bankers, and I include central bankers and politicians, to prison for this outrage, it will continue. So, there it was. He basically broke down the whole fact about faction, fractional reserve banking. You know, that it's criminal. All right, it's completely and totally criminal. Um, well, let's jump into the scriptures. This is Ezekiel. Thirty-five, and I'm gonna read verses like one through four. Salakia, I'm in Ezekiel one. I want to be in Ezekiel thirty-five. Here we go, and it reads: Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, "Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it." And say unto it, 
Thus said Yahweh Power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And for all this, this wrongdoing, it's kind of like you got to look at it like this. The same people who make uh, Jacob, meaning the, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, last on everything. Redlining, red, last in loans, last in banking, last in home loans, last in car loans, last in, in business and job opportunities, last in, in business loans. All of a sudden, these same people want to put you first for Maxine Waters. All right, and many of you are, are lining up and falling for it. How, how much wrong do these people have to do to you? You know, and, and then in and, and Salakia, I said a member of Congress, he was a member of, of, of Parliament. So he was before the British, uh, uh, which is basically equivalent to the Congress here in, in America. All right? Pretty big gust of wind. Satan don't like what I'm doing right now. Uh, this is uh, Habakkuk. And, and six and it reads shall not all these take a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say woe unto him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that laid himself with thick clay so the debt which has been accumulated as a result of these failing bank policies is this fractional reserve uh, uh, banking um, now they're, they're trying to switch over completely to digital. See, and they're trying to do that before the dollar completely dies. Because the dollar was well on its way to dying. That's one thing that this pandemic uh, uh, helped to, to distract the people away from. The fact that, that America was collapsing and the dollar is crashing. Right? Don't forget that we were in the middle of, a, a, um, of the retail apocalypse in America. Uh, and that you had housing bubbles car loans bubbles, credit card bubbles, and uh, um, and the housing bubble, all all about to burst. Plus the whole e expose with uh, Jeffrey Ep Epstein with all these high-ranking officials and and, and, uh, and and Hollywood, people of Hollywood, that were exposed and named in this situation. And the pandemic came and kind of put all that on the back burner to where no one was paying attention to it anymore. Don't forget about that. All right? But now let's go to uh, Proverbs, to the book of Proverbs uh, 23 and verse 3, and it reads, am I in Proverbs? No, it's not 23 and 3, Salakia. It's 20 and 23, Salakia. And it reads, Divers weights are an abomination unto Yahweh, and a false balance is not good. So the money, the money system deals in debt, which is a false balance. All right, you gotta understand what they've been doing is they've been printing money, counterfeiting money, call it quantitative easing, and and, and making money in, in you know, regardless. And what they do is they uh they they take this money and they charge and they basically you pay, your taxes go to the interest on the money, not to the infrastructure. All right, so you got to remember wars were fought so that we would have a, a, a interest free, debt free currency. All right, when 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 the gold stab, uh, standard was in place and the silver standard, but now with the current banking systems, uh, they basically you know like the Federal Reserve is not federal a part of your government. It's, it's a private entity, but yet that private entity has control and, and, and controls policy uh, in your government, which is connected to the UCC, which is why they're able to have influence over the courts and everything that is done. Remember what uh, 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 the Roth, Rothschild, Mayor Amschild, 
uh, uh, Rothschild said that give me the control over a nation's currency and I care not who makes his rules. And, and the fact that the Federal Reserve and the IRS exist is the evidence of that because behind closed doors, they control the policy that all three branches of government uh, uh, are swayed to whatever they say at the end of the day. All right, because the federal government will never go against the Federal Reserve or stop them from doing anything that they're doing. That's ev it's evidence within itself. So that, that member of, parla of parliament was telling you the complete truth. It's not my words, man. But, uh, and that was a video, by the way, that was put up by, uh, called Esau Edom snitching on Esau Edom. Why the whole banking system is corrupt. And that was by, uh, uh, Rashai La Yasharala, that brother there. Um, and the next one is, is called, uh, there is no V-shaped recovery, recovery in jobs, um, just depression. And we are in a depression. We're in the second depression, and this one is going to be way worse than the uh, the one that happened in the in the uh, early 1900s, around 1929, 1930. But uh, let's pull that up. Did you know that having cold hands and feet is a sign of a much bigger health problem? Most people don't even notice it. That is a good product, though. I've used it. But uh, I'm going to go right to about the three Hey, guys, minutes. welcome to this. Now, the U.S. has regained 13 million jobs since the bottom of the crisis back in April. But as we can see, total employment, it's gone sideways pretty much since last November. And over the past four months, it's only increased by 200,000 jobs. All of this just needs to be taken into account when we use terminology like V-shaped recovery or surge in employment. Now, probably the most disturbing point about the unemployment data would be the new unemployment insurance claims. They're still coming in every week between 700,000 and 800,000. And this has been going on for the past five months. And there was times it was much worse than that. But previous to this crisis, we never, never reached 700,000 people losing their job every week. So this is just a wow. continuing, a new normal, if you will of job losses, heavy job losses, every week. And there's no evidence whatsoever of a downward trend ever since the initial partial comeback. Every week, there's around 800,000 people filing for new unemployment insurance claims. Now, the continuing unemployment claims, of course, we've showed how they've manipulated this data and they've hidden a lot of these people, and it has showed some moderation. Now, continuing claims, they've fallen from 5.1 million to 4.2 million, but in both cases, the totals are in recession territory. For example, back... So that's, that's pretty much all you need to hear is in recession territory. And another thing, you know, the, the, what he said was a lot. I would suggest that you go back and listen to it again. But, you know, seven, 700,000 a week. Now, you have to remember this. Now, uh, uh, last week, not even last week, couple days ago the report came out that 70 million people filed for uh, uh, unemployment benefits all right 70 million now here's the kicker man America has roughly about 325 million people here all right America's workforce is about 120 million all right so that's more than so that's because you got to remember the, the uh, uh, that's your workforce. The, most of your working adults, that's that, you know, so the rest of the people, the rest of the population of America are, are children and senior citizens who no longer work. So so if you got one hundred and twenty million uh, uh, strong workforce and 70 million of them are filed for unemployment claims, that means more than half your workforce is out of work. And less than half is supporting the country with taxes. That one fact alone means this place is done. All right? This is a... Uh... Salakia.
Ciroc, Book of Ciroc. Ten and uh, eight, and it reads: Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, and that's basically what what uh, uh, Mount Seir has been doing. That's how they got control over the earth. All right, through the through the use of the sword and the use of deceit. All right, through the use of deceit, the number two weapon. As I heard uh, Apostle Ramlap say earlier today on the live show, that first weapon was the sword, the second weapon was the seat. And those are two weapons that they wield better than anyone else. All right? Um, but it's all coming to an end. It's all, back, it's all backfiring on them. Let's go to uh, Sirach, the 42nd chapter. Yeah, and I'm going to read verses like verses 1 through 5, and it reads, Of these things be not thou ashamed, and accept no person to sin thereby. Of the law of the Most High, and his covenant and judgment to justify the ungodly. Of reckoning with thy partners and travelers, or in the gift of the heritage of friends. Of exactness of balance and weights, or of getting much or little. Right, so, so matter what you're getting, much or little, you have no right to sin or break the law, man. And they've broken the, and their, their, their wickedness reaches up to the heavens, man. So it, it, that, so that bill is due. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Abishai, by Shem Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ball, Shalawam.